down in Wales, uh, there's still an awful lot of flood damage, an awful lot of flooding still going on. There's 200 flood alerts still uh, in operation over the course of the uh, uh, the country. A lot of trains not running, a lot of roads still um, impassable. Let's talk to Kerry Jenkins, who's the owner of the TAF CAF in Pontypridd. Uh, the t the uh, uh, the state of the TAF business centre uh, is apparently. Um, uh, better today than it was uh, but basically one of the reasons it flooded was because culverts which are the things that go underneath the uh, the ground hadn't been cleared um kerry very good morning to you good morning thanks very much indeed uh, tell us about uh, what your experience was over the last few days oh it's been a roller coaster it really has um it, it the flood this time wasn't as bad as as three four years ago right um, luckily, it was just um, my cafe that flooded this time. As you can see, I'm only a couple of feet from the actual river, right. um, and I am the one that's, that's that's right next to it, and therefore flooding. That's that's um, that was Sunday. Um, luckily, as it was coming in through one door, we were able to sweep the water out of another door to stop it rising. Right. Um, and it, it was really weird because as soon as it was coming in, then it stopped and we were able to get it back out again. But it's devastating to see um, and feel all that water coming in and you just don't sure. know whether you've got business at the end of it. I know, exactly right. I mean, I suffered the same thing. Uh, I lived in Wiltshire a few, many years ago. I got, I got flooded sort of three times in the same week. And it's hard to imagine that the water rises as quickly as it does. And what about yeah. um, um, the help that you might have got from the council and what about the insurance and all of that? Well, after the last flood, I didn't have the cafe then, and I took it on afterwards, yeah. um, and I wasn't able to get flood insurance. Nobody on this estate has got flood insurance. Right. Um, we are linked up to the alerts um, with Natural Resources Wales, but um, we we have no, no support, no help from the council. Mm. I have heard, however, overnight that there is a grant of £1,000 for anyone who has internal flooding, whether that be a commercial business or a home. Uh, but a thousand pounds what are you supposed to do with a thousand pounds i've got away with this very lightly there's a lot of businesses and families in pontypridd again being flooded right. in the same places and of course the the, the the council are blaming the met office saying oh they didn't tell us it was going to be this bad but well, they only gave us an amber warning instead of a red warning i mean that's not really much of a defense is it no no i mean we know we have a problem with the tax um, it, it's broken its banks in the same places. Um, and it just makes you think, well, what, what, what are the council doing? Are they not learning any lessons right. from the last time? Right. Um, and like I said, I've got away very lightly with this. I thought I didn't have a business. I, my heart goes out to everyone in Ponty Town Centre again. Right. This and, 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 I mean, why can't they put up some flood defences? I remember back in um, uh, the day, probably 10 or so years ago, when York was getting flooded quite badly uh, and other cities around uh, Britain were getting flooded quite badly and ended up sort of constructing, you know, walls to keep the water out. You seem to have, yeah. uh, you know, what looks rather like a very porous uh, metal fence. Exactly, exactly. The last time this flooded, all of that fence was down. We yeah. had diggers practically in the river. It was that bad. Right. Um, but yeah, I just uh, they're watching the water come come in, um, and there's nothing to do about it. I, I didn't have access to sandbags. Um, I've I've had this business for three and a half years now, and I didn't think that it would flood again. But right. I spend my life watching that river. Yeah, I know. I, I can absolutely agree. I, I had a tiny little stream that ran through my garden, uh, which was literally about, you know, this deep, about two inches all the time. And it suddenly mm. became like a four foot high flood that came 30 feet up the garden and into my house. You know, it was yeah. terrifying. And you're right. I just stood there watching it. Have you seen anyone from the government, by the way? Anyone come down? I haven't had anyone here. Um, our landlords came. They offered to help sweep out. We've had other businesses help family the staff we were all here on sunday um we were here for hours and hours and luckily we managed to disinfect everything obviously i'm i'm a cafe um we managed to keep everything off the floor so um, we were able to open again on yesterday morning as usual right Good but for you. so many people that are not going to manage that this side of christmas i mean would you like to see somebody from the government coming down and actually talking to you about it I think they should. They should come down and, and, and offer this help and support. Right. You know, the Lido in Pontypridd has just flooded. It's a brand new um, pool area for the children. Um, and that's flooded. But who's going to say, we're going to end up stumping up the bill for that, the local ta yeah. the tax payers, the businesses and the homeowners. But I've got to also, and all the other businesses here, have got to stump up my own damage as well. 
Right. So I can't get insurance. None of us have. But I, I, I just think the council should maybe give us insurance because mm. if they're not going to sort the river out, then at least cover our insurance and our costs. Exactly right. Thank you very much indeed, Kerry. I wish you luck with it. And, and I feel your pain because I've been there myself and I know how awful it is to be flooded, and not just once, but on a regular basis. Josh Downs is another uh, flood victim. He's the owner of the Lost Boys Club uh, barber's shop down in Pontypridd. Um, Josh, very good morning to you. Good morning. You got flooded back in 2022 and it left you bankrupt, I'm, I'm told. Um, and you've got flooded again this this weekend. How's, how are you feeling? Um, devastated, to be honest. Uh, this this one, we managed to, to recover from quite quickly, but only down to, to members of the public. But the amount of stock, um, you know, chairs, things like that I'd lost, yeah. you know, Financially, now it's just something that, yeah, this side of Christmas I could uh, really do without. Yeah, of course. And and apparently, we heard from uh, from Kerry Jenkins there. She can't get insurance. Have, have you got the same problem? Yeah, never been able to get insurance in Ponty. Like I said, with my uh, well, in 2022, I was flooded with cooking oil, but it ultimately ste um, stemmed down to bad drainage, right. and I wouldn't able to to get a penny with it which led to me actually going bankrupt um and that is the yeah. problem isn't it that an awful lot of this is avoidable if they just you know either dredge the river or clean the drains out yeah it's 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 just the same thing like we've you know obviously we're, we're in the town center we hear that they, they're doing this to the drainage they do, they're doing that we also see them spending money on a lot of things like you know the ice dev would have just come here um they've just pushed a load of money into the town they've built lovely new steps mm. at the top of town but yeah as far as the drainage goes i haven't seen anything and i'd say we're all feeling the side effects from it now and it's just got to the point where i think you know i speak for many other businesses here that we have had an absolute guts full yeah. of things like this happening yeah and do you feel like just moving and, and giving up on that particular place that you've got uh, yeah, hundred percent. Like I've in the last, like what was stemmed from two thousand twenty-two, I lost three shops going from there. As you can imagine, I had to, I had to give everything up. I got myself back to a place of, you know, I'm starting to sort of recover financially, and then something like that happens yesterday. It just, it does make you feel like just like shutting the door and walking away. But yeah. unfortunately, and you, know, you, I, get, I, I, you get any help at all from the local council or the government? No, we, I've never received help. Like, uh, uh, it was only yesterday, and I think it's to the point now because it's happened so many times. Obviously, the First Minister turned up um, yesterday, and I mm. think the council now is starting to be like, oh, you know, there's a light getting shone on this. Uh, it's time to go out and start pe speaking to people. But for me, it's a little, a little bit too, you know, too late. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, are you going to be able to reopen? You, what's the situation? Oh, we, we're reopening today. Like I said, regardless, we, we are not losing money you know any more money than we already have before christmas like yeah. the shop smells damp like i said the chairs everything's damaged it's safe at the least so we're opening up like there's there's, there's six of us who work here that's you know we've six families yeah. which to be fair if we go off past experiences are we going to receive anything for it probably not mm. we, we we get told yeah you, you know you're going to get this going to get that it's a shocking state of affairs. John, Josh, listen, I wish you luck. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us. The owner of Lost Boys Clubs, Barbers, in Ponty Breathe, if you can, go down and give him some uh, a business, if it's possible. And the same goes for Kerry Jenkins as well, the Taff Caff in Ponty Breathe. Uh, but this is the thing, you know, governments, local and national, have a duty to look after these areas that get flooded. And they have a duty to make sure that they don't continue to get flooded all the time whenever the rain falls a little bit heavier than it should. Because they can actually divert water they can make sure that uh, there are things in place that stop pe places people's businesses from going under literally going underwater shocking state of affairs